Similar alignments and patterns spotted north of Dioscuria. This site is located in the northern mid-latitudes of Mars in a region called Brotonilus Mensa. I'll show the anomalies are spotted at this new site as well as my hypothesis that we might be looking at depictions of the Sumo Triangle Asterism. Let's get cracking on. The high-rise photograph we'll be analysing here is called Rocky Ground, east of Lyot Crater, acquired on the 20th of March 2012 at 30.6 centimetres per pixel resolution, with one by one binning. The anomalies were cropped from the JP2 black and white map projected file, just under one gigabyte in size. There's a look at the low res black and white and the anomalies I'll be showing you some of these white dots that are scattered throughout this region. The site is located at roughly 52 degrees 29 minutes north, 38 degrees 4 minutes east. We'll have a look at some of the anomalies at nearby sites towards the end of the video as well. So to start off with we'll be looking at placement of small objects on larger rectangular base structures. This one over here is about 10 meters across and it's got straight edges and right angles to it. There again we've got a block with a small part on the top. This is about 10 by 10 meters in size. It looks almost as if the corners are slightly angled and then it's got the part right there in its center check out these straight edges and right angles again guys another blocky item there this one's about 10 meters wide and about 14 meters long and again we've got right angles to it also slightly angled on the two sides Looks like the area on the top is slightly hollowed out with what might be a hole or a small object casting a shadow right there in its center, guys. And there they are for comparison. And this type of alignment we've seen so often on Mars as well. Next up we'll be looking at what I speculate might be slabs or monoliths with these uh, small objects in their centers. Check this out folks, again right there on the center of this block. It looks eroded and then also partially covered in sand and debris. We're looking at the object right there, it's about 15 by 20 meters in size. Check out the small, almost dome or sphere shaped object in the center. Right, then we'll be zooming in on that object and it seems to have a rectangular hole in it or is that a shadow being cast by an item here to the right. And again, look at the uncanny resemblance. What are the chances of this occurring in nature? Up next, we'll be looking at objects similar to this one, which is about 12 meters long. It's got a strange rounded shape to it. And then in its center is that possibly a hole with a small hatch open here to the left or is this uh, small object in the center casting that shadow we're looking at that item about 10 meters across it's also got rounded corners to it and in this case that looks like a small spherical object next to a hole 
Another strange part of here, folks, about 10 meters across. And this one seems to have like a rectangular part on the center there. And then uh, is that a rectangular opening? And then extending through the center line, we've got this long, narrow object over there. And then this rather bright piece, folks, this is about 10 meters long. And it's got a small object right there in its center. And it also looks as if it has like a sort of rounded type of shape to it. And there's the comparison between those. Then we're looking at very weird alignments. These are totally out of place. This object over here is about 12 meters by 12 meters in size. And it's almost got a hexagon shape to it. The side's covered in sand and debris. Check out the objects aligned in a cross shape. There again, on this item, which is about 14 meters across, we've got another cross-shaped depiction. But look at the distance between the dark spots there, folks. It's very symmetrical. And then in a category all of its own, we're looking at two objects next to one another on top of blocks. Check this out folks, that's about 10 meters across and it's got two similar parts next to one another parallel with this side over here. Two similar items on that part which is about 12 meters across Check this out, folks. Right there in its center again. Up next, depictions of triangles. Check that out there, guys. Three small parts. Very similar in size and shape. Arranged in a triangular pattern. And then off to the side... We've got that strange conical part over there. Again, a triangular depiction and a small part on the one side. Check out the similarity again. And on this one, we've got three small parts in a row at equal distance between those. Check that out guys. And then a strange part of here perpendicular to that row. So check out the similarity once again. And this we've seen in so many other photographs taken by the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. Let's have a look at my hypothesis that these depictions are of the Lyra system, the Cygna system, and possibly this system of here to the bottom right, Aquila. So is there a link between Mars, an ancient civilization that once thrived on Mars, and possibly Vega, Deneb, or Altair. Let's have a look at the star signs highlighted there. We'll start off with the Summa Triangle Asterism, or Summer Triangle Asterism. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. And there's some other examples I've found in different regions of Mars. This is in Drava Vallis. The Halis region will also have triangular depictions. 
and uh, there again this is in Protonellus mensae it's a triangular depiction on what looks like a gravestone shaped object this is about 12 meters long Alice region strange triangular depiction there and then these are circular depressions in the surface in Noarchus Terra. Up next we'll look at depictions that I speculate might represent that part of the triangle. This is in Hallis region. Got three items in a row there. Three items in a row here in Promethea Terra. East of Asimov, three in a row as well. Another example from Promethea Terra, three objects in a row. Almost like the uh, pyramids and their alignments, the pyramids in Cairo. I found this alignment west of Halley and then that in a site east of Reddy. And it looks like they depict that constellation in Altair, possibly Vega. Again, three in a row, three in a row. These are arranged right through the center of that block. So this is also at a site east of Reddy and then Noarchus region. So are those alignments similar to the alignments we find here on earth these are the three pyramids in cairo depicting orion's belt or could they be depicting altair or that star sign in vega up next we're looking at possible depictions of cygnus and this is in orchestra these are impressions in the surface to similar round depressions a triangular impression right there in the center and then two smaller circular depressions going off the right there very similar to this shape this is also in orchestra where we have this strange depiction looks almost like a symbol of a scorpion and then there as well this is in Hallis region back to the remaining anomalies I found in the photograph we're looking at those objects arranged in a circular pattern check this out folks similar objects and uh, have been arranged sort of around this item here to the left. Then we're looking at megalithic blocks. This one over here is about 5 by 5 meters in size. Uniform thickness, straight edges, right angles. Yeah, we're looking at this rectangular block it's about five by five by eight meters in size and it's partially covered or buried in sand strange item here to the left it's almost like a slab another rectangular block right there folks about 12 meters long it's also got a uniform thickness to it, slightly eroded, rounded corners, right angles, two what look like depressions over here, next one another, parallel with this one side, and then I don't know if that's a spherical object in its center, three dark spots in a row there next one another and there they are 
to compare. Right, off to the northern mid-latitude to that site. So we have Dioscuria over here to the south and the site we analyzed is located. Yeah, there's a quick look at the anomalies briefly. Let's go over to the east. This is about 250 kilometers to the east found more of these megalithic blocks and slabs could there have been a megalithic structure or structures in this region and uh, the blocks were blown apart let's go down to the south strange square surface feature it's been cleared out. Check at this item. It's got like a grid design on the top. Could that be some type of venting system or an outpost? Again, small parts in the centers of these items. Looks almost as if that there is a rectangular opening with that small disc-like feature sticking out of it. There's another rounded block. It also seems to have depressions on the one side and maybe even a bevel around the edge. Let me know what you think of my hypothesis that we might be looking at depictions of these star systems in uh, the Summa or Summer Triangle Asterism. The pyramids in Cairo, they speculate, are aligned to Orion's belt. So why can't I speculate that these patterns I see on Mars might be depicting star signs? Anyways, folks, let me know your comments and thoughts. That concludes this presentation. Thank you for watching. To my veteran viewers and supporters, thank you for your support and viewership. And to my new subscribers, welcome on board. I hope you like the work and research. Take care, everybody. I'll see you soon in the next video. Cheers for now.